So there are six of these mugs, so one up above and then these down here, and they're all different. $4.99. It is a Sunday morning. I am back at the Goodwill. I was just here the other day when I was shopping and I found those Indiana glass, the Cubis ones. And I wanted to get all eight, but I could only get two. Well, I only bought two. They were just so high priced, but, oh, I wonder why he's coming back to his car. Anyways, they're supposed to be, the reason I'm saying that is that people keep going up to the door and then coming back. And I'm like, I'm pretty sure it opens at 11 and it's supposed to be 50% off today um, at the Goodwill. And that's why I'm back. I want to see if I can go in and get the other six glasses of those and then look around to see if there's any new items or if there's anything else that I can find to flip for a profit. That is the second person that drove in the parking lot, went up to the doors, and they were closed? Hmm, I don't know. We'll see what happens. I am going to wait. It's supposed to be open at 11 o'clock. Maybe it's 12. But I'm pretty sure it said on the website, you know, it said on the website 11, but that might not be updated. Well, we'll find out. I will find out. We meaning you and you and all my viewers will find out if it's open or not. But I definitely want to get in there today. So even if, if I have, even if I have to go somewhere else for a little bit and come back, I will do that. Yeah, because this parking lot is empty. This is telling me that I might be here too early. <laughs> now I'm just going on and on. Um, so anyways, I'm going to go in there and see what I can find. So I see they are still here. set is right back here. All right. Got them all in my cart. I am so happy. I am also going to get this little retro looking teapot. This is cute. It's a little bit of a cute pattern. Actually, it's more like a diamond pattern. But it has no price, which means they won't sell it. These are some restaurant ware dishes. Oh, look what I just found on the bottom shelf. Oh, never mind. Yeah, they're both very damaged. Fresh carts, a lot of the people that came in right before me were over here, but I wanted to get those Cubis glasses, but now let's take a look in the carts. That says Harry and David on it. doesn't have a lid. Mm. Want to be a pirate? All the core items. I'm not seeing anything. That's plastic. Java. Why is my thing not focusing? There we go. Java. Hmm. 
so there are six of these mugs. The so one up above and then these down here. And they're all different. $4.99. Yeah, I don't know about these. Crushing glass, but I can't pick it up for that even half price. Is it just me or is she just a bit creepy? Along with the bunny beside her. This was so pretty with the crackle glass, but I did leave it behind. That was hiding way back on the top shelf. I just brought it down to take a look. $7.99. It says made in China on the little sticker there. Hmm. I just looked it up and it sells between nine and fifteen dollars. They were asking twelve ninety nine for this Christmas tree. Let's see if there's anything interesting here. He kind of looks like a gnome, doesn't he? Oh, does he not have a call? There's his price. $3.99. Yeah, I think he's so cute. How awesome. Now, it looks like he's broke. He was probably holding something there. Or is that supposed to be, I don't know what that is. And I did pick up those plates and the berry bowls right here. There they are again. This is, oh, that's kind of heavy. Hmm. I saw these hiding back there. They are Lennox. Hmm. All right, so I have no room here. So I brought my own box, but way too small for all of this china, plus one bag. I'm not sure how I'm going to get this all out to the car. I knew these weren't Fiesta. I'm just surprised. They're called Petals by Oneida. little mark on it. I'm going to figure out how to get it into the cart here. I got a raffle ticket when I first came in. We're going to do a raffle at noon. That is adorable. I don't know who makes it though. Looking through the clothing for a minute. <laughs> These don't belong here. The resin. Got the cat's wall hangs. <laughs> I found a couple of squirts. Those will be for me. 
these are my type of shoes and they fit I just tried the one on they've moved a lot of the shoes to this side of the store as I came around the corner anything that sparkles I love looking at these are Keds It says Kate Spade in there. $14.99. I'm going to take a look through the picture. Oh, this was really neat. It's a puzzle. You don't notice it until you get up close. I think that's uh, the Ren... Ren... Uh, Remnar? Oh my gosh. Why can't I say it? You guys know who I'm talking about. Renoir. Oh. Unicorn. Now that looks interesting. Kind of like that. This is like cruel, and then it still has the canvas part. That's interesting. It's the same person because they took them to Michael's to get them framed. I like it. I managed to get some of it packed up into my bag there. I brought a box which was way too small. I don't even know why I brought that into the store. I should have had my boxes out here. I should have put a bunch of them in there. I, I did ask for the paper to wrap these up. They don't give you bags anymore. So I'm trying to be more prepared by bringing my own. My total spend, because everything was 50% off, was $50. Some of it was for me. Not too much. The two squirts and a pair of shoes. And I'm still debating about those Kate Spade ones. My husband had taken items out of his car and put them in my car. The chair, there's some blankets there. But now the blanket is coming in handy to help me get my dishes home. Last thing I need is for something to chip. And then I have to put those items away too. Wow, that was an experience. At first, there's only a few of us shoppers in there. I feel sad for the people that turned away. I see now why they turned away. On the front of that store, it says it opens at noon, but they've actually changed their hours. They just never change what it says on the, the glass door part. And so people were leaving, not realizing it was going to be open in a few minutes. I'm so glad in this case, the website was updated. It got busier and busier. It got so busy in there and it was getting tougher and tougher to even move around, but that was okay. And then there was long lines for checking out and it was so busy and I'm trying to help her wrap, you know, some of the items into the paper because I'm always concerned about getting it home and not getting it chipped along the way. You know how it is. And I only brought one small box. I, I, I was like... I guess my initial thought was I was only coming for those Indiana glasses. So I got three more hoagies back there. Um, and uh, I ended up with a cart full. And I am so happy with my finds today. And I can do a quick haul and show you, like, 
you know, what I think I can get for them. And when I went to the checkout, as I'm helping her and there's this long line and you just start to feel the pressure and you're just trying to hurry up, I swore I heard her say $150. And I'm like, wait a sec. <laughs> There's no way, even if I paid full price for everything, that it'd be 150 bucks. And I said, is that the, with the discount, the 50% off discount? She's like, yes. So then I go to put my card in and it said 50, $50. Um, so anyways, I am just so happy with all of my finds. And let me show you what I got. That'll be up next. I have my haul all out to show you guys. Look how cute that all looks together. Somebody even commented on the gnome when I was in line. I went to just get these and I wanted to take another look at those plates and berry bowls because I was like, well, I could have bought them for $4.99 and $3.99, but they were still there. Why not get them for half price? Always like a bargain. I was so happy these were there. I ran so quickly back to that aisle and they were exactly where I had put them. Nobody wanted them <laughs> in the few days that um, they sat there. So they were $5.99 a pair. But as you know, I had bought one before. So these ended up being $3 for each one. And then these right here, I paid the $5.99. So a dollar cost average across the set of eight, which is actually I'm selling them as two in a set. So four sets, $3.74 per set. Now, what's cool about this is I just washed these up and took the price tags off and all of that. But yesterday, before I even did that this morning, I just changed the quantity. I had these already listed up and cross-posted on eBay. I just changed it to a quantity of four. And then if you buy two sets, you get a discount. If you buy three, if you buy all four sets, you get even bigger discount. So that was pretty easy. And... If I sell a set on Poshmark or Etsy or Knickknacks or even whatnot, I still have the extras and then I can just adjust the quantity. For all of them all together, I'm in that $48 to $60 range in terms of selling them all. I just love this pretty blue color. I paid $14.99 for all of them. I just love how awesome they look all together there. I would still really love to find the pink ones. That's a bucket list item. I want to find them out in the wild. There are a couple items that are not on this table. They were for me. It was the two squirts and a pair of shoes. So if I deduct that from the total, I paid $37.53. I always give you the totals before tax. Just know that I'm always paying tax on the items I'm buying. So these sparkly ones right here, I'm still debating. I might keep these for myself. That is right up my alley. These are Kate Spade, and they're a, a bit dirty on the inside, but look fantastic on the outside. I'm sure I could probably clean them up a little bit on the inside, and they're my size. They're Keds. These particular Kate Spade Keds shoes, uh, sneakers, footwear they sell anywhere when they're used like this anywhere from $20 at the low end and around $36 at the high end and if they're brand new they sell for around $70 on eBay so if I was going to sell them I'm not sure because they're not completely clean on the inside unless I can get that out of there 
I'm probably in that $20 to $25 range for these. I paid $7.49 for them. So if I decided to keep them for myself, we just have to deduct that from that total I just gave you a minute ago. I'm going to move these off the table so that I can move things around a bit. So I want to talk about these next. This, just like the flatware, is something to be looking at and comping out on eBay. This is Petals by Oneida. Dishwasher and microwave safe. I don't know if they're vintage or not. I think what they are is discontinued, which is another buzzword. Discontinued items or people are always looking out for them. It says $4.99 in there, so I would have paid $2.49 for the two bowls and the two salad plates. For this whole set, because I'm going to sell it as a set, I think I can get around $30 for it. I didn't even see this right away. It was on the bottom shelf of an end cap. And the front end caps are always decorated really nice. But the end caps in the back, they just kind of put things wherever. And this was on the bottom shelf. I probably would not have picked it up for $8. It might have been worth it to pick it up for $8. But I was like, why not? I'm going to keep saying this like a broken record. Why not get it for half price? So paid $3.99. It's a luncheon plate and or it's like a serving dish with the two mugs. And being that it has holly, it's a Christmas theme. I was like, oh, you can put like cookies in there or you do cheese and crackers or, you know, something like that. And then have the two mugs. You can have your hot chocolate in there. This is a bit dirty, needs some cleaning up for sure. I'm going to flip it over. But first, I want to cut these mugs. Oh, that one's kind of so loose. Oh my gosh, they were making so much noise in the car because it kept rocking back and forth. I'm like, please don't be chipping. Oh, definitely dirty. I'm going to be washing these up in a bit. Let's see if I can get that over there. I'm not doing a good job with one hand here, but... Oh, let me let me cut them off completely. Okay, I'm back. Just gotta get the tape off those mugs, get them all cleaned up, and let's flip this over. I did manage to flip it over in the store because I wanted to see what it said. For some reason, I was like, "Is that Lefton? It's not Lefton. That just says R H Macy." Oh, my shadow puppets there. Here's my shadow puppets. Porcelain Japan, so definitely vintage. And what does that say in the let me oh, let me do it this way. Let me zoom in. All the trimmings. Oh, that's that's kind of cool. So I haven't even looked this up. I have no idea what I would get for it. Um possibly I'm gonna say for the three pieces maybe in that 30 to 35 dollar range i knew this looked familiar i was just trying to look this up and sure enough people are selling this set for like 30 dollars. so i was pretty good with my guests there but i just grabbed this out of my inventory and it's um it matches <laughs> And on the back of this one, oh, let me get it flipped the right way. The back of this one says Kashmina Christmas Holly Fine Porcelain Japan. So definitely all vintage. I love this. I wonder if I should put this together as a four-piece set. That would be interesting. Then I'd probably be in that $40 to $45 range for it. Let's talk about these next, these vintage dishes. The pattern is called Wood Vine. It's funny, when I was looking up the comps on eBay, somebody had a sold where they had like some plates and a couple of teacups and saucers, and they called it Wood Vine. 
and we're all guilty of this. We're all guilty of this where you type it in, you misspell it, or there's, you know, the phone corrects itself, corrects it, thinks, thinking you want the B instead of the V, and your listing is not good. But somebody probably recognized this pattern more than they did the misspelling. And they also might have been looking up the maker, which is, as soon as I get this little berry bowl turned around, it says universal... And this is oven proof ballerina. So what they're looking up is ballerina. It says union made USA. Uh, this pattern will not fade. It is permacal. I'm not sure what permacal is, but it will not fade. It says. So if you look up ballerina dishes, you will find all the different patterns, so many different patterns. So I think that's how they were able to still sell their set, even though they had um, misspelled the pattern. I know I got to go back through my listings. That's a reseller tip for anyone on here that's a reseller is occasionally look up your listings. And the easiest way to do it is be, just look up like a general thing, like look up mugs and bring up all your mugs you have listed and then double check that you don't have misspellings in the titles. It's, it's something to do while you're watching TV, you know, relaxing in the evenings um, or look up, oh, dinner plates <laughs> and same thing. So anyways, um, these were $4.99, so I would have paid $2.49 for those. Yeah, two forty nine for those, and um, I'm expecting to get somewhere in that you know eighteen to twenty two dollar range for those. And then, but I think what I'm going to do because it's four and four, assuming there's no chips, you know, till you get them completely apart. I say, oh nope, that's just smudge, some dirt there. Um, so long as no chips or cracks or anything like that on any of these, I'm going to sell it as a set four dinner plates and the four berry bowls together. So these would have been a um, dollar 99. And so what I say, 18 to 22 for these, but if I add this in, that's probably like another $10 on top of that. So that's what I'm looking for, for this set. As you could tell, those dinner plates are much smaller uh, than these. And I just love these. And I think I looked at these before at the Goodwill. I think they've been there for a while. Like I'm talking like months, probably because of this price. I'm not sure why Goodwill is doing this, why they're pricing it up. They would move so much stock if they would just lower their prices, they would sell more. <laughs> now you could say the same thing about resellers too. Like why do you have it priced up so high? Sometimes I say, oh, 18 to 22, but that doesn't mean I don't take offers, that I don't run sales, that I don't put them on, a, you know, a live auction, like, and I might take less for it, but I have to have some sort of idea of how much it goes for. So anyways, let's see here, these were $4, and the reason I picked them up... I'm just trying to move these around. Okay. They're Lennox <laughs> with the shadow puppets all the time. <laughs> Made in the USA. Chirp Floral. That is the pattern name. Now, when I first saw this, I was like, oh, is that Pioneer Woman? <laughs> That's what I thought. So I was surprised that it was Lennox. It is really hard to comp out this exact pattern, but I did find a few, but I was finding a lot of the turquoise ones. If you ever see the ones with the turquoise banding, I'm going to throw a little clip in of some solds on those. As you can see, those go for a lot. I'm looking to get somewhere in that $16 to $20 per plate of these so I'm pretty excited don't pass up on Lennox dishes definitely a bolo 
I just could not leave this little vintage teapot on the shelf. So I was so happy it was still there. Paid $3.99 for it. And it has, not that it was there in the store, a matching creamer and sugar that goes with it. In looking these up, this particular style of teapot, they come in all different patterns. I also like that this is red, white, and blue. Perfect for all those vignettes that you do for your patriotic vignettes. This is actually a usable little teapot. And it is, it is marked on the bottom. It has somewhat of a sticker back there. Now, on Etsy, someone had this listed up as Napco with a little creamer and sugar. That's how I know it has the matching set. Other people were just describing it because it didn't have any sticker or anything like that. So they were just saying, you know, it was mid-century modern. It was probably from the 50s, or not 50s, from the 60s or 70s. I'm thinking more like the 70s. But they had beautiful, beautiful patterns down here. So many. So you could actually make a collection of these teapots with all the different floral patterns on them. Just so beautiful. I'm in that $18 to $22 range for this particular teapot. Speaking of being patriotic, got my gnome back here. I paid $1.99 for him. Yes, he is modern. But I'm an everything seller. But look at that. Look how cute they look together. Oh my goodness. Just perfect. So, he is hollow. He looks like a, like a pottery piece, though. Definitely modern. But too cute. I have no idea what I would get for him. Maybe in that, you know, $12 to $15 range. I almost didn't go and look at the pictures. Because I never find anything. Let me move the teapot out of the way there. I love these hand embroidered. Is that a cross? Yeah, that's a cross stitch. $4.99. So I paid $2.49 for it. These are both, and I'll show you the other one in a second, both professionally framed by Michaels with um, not an expensive frame, but they are identical frames. These were definitely made by the same person and somebody donated their work. Maybe they donated their own work. Maybe they keep doing projects and they're like, I got to get rid of some and put the new ones up. Who knows? I'm going to move this one a little bit closer. So this one's also $4.99. So I paid $2.49 and it's the canvas. And then they did their embroidery which this is cruel when it looks like that and these are all different little stitches i know one of my daughter's friends has gotten into it they call it their granny hobbies <laughs> my daughter's into gardening that's her granny ho hobby and her other friend is into needlework uh, so the younger generation is keeping it alive it is just something that women tend to fall into. I guess it's not all just for women, but um, a lot of women do it. I love that one too. That one's just so pretty. So now I have quite a few. I have like maybe, I think I have three more. So five in total, maybe six, five or six of these um, needlework wall art. I'm going to call them wall art. Um, that I am going to be putting them up into my live sales. I might have them in the buy it now. So if anybody's interested in, I can show it to them. They can see it a little bit better on the live sale. And I can say, oh, it's available in the buy it now. Kind of do it that way. I could do auctions on them. That would be fun too. Especially if there was multiple people interested in them. 
So I have no idea what I can get for these. Just no idea. If I was listing, listing them on eBay, I would probably start in that $20 to $25 range for each of them. I know that sounds like a lot, but there's a lot of work that goes into this. These are not cheap hobbies. And they're beautiful. Do you guys have a favorite? Is it the ballerina dishes, the Lennox, the Napco tea, teapot? I almost said t-shirt, Napco teapot. <laughs> oh, my sparkly Keds, the gnome, the wall art. How about these golden on Oneida? I think that's called marigold. I think that's the color that is. The Christmas serving dishes? Or is it the Indiana Glass Cubis Whitehall footed tumbler glasses? I know that's a mouthful, <laughs> but that's what they're called. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the thrift with me and the haul video haven't been doing those very much lately as you know i have been trying to list 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 that is my goal i have way too much inventory and now i have even more of it although these are already listed so i only have these new items to list plus i need to dig something out of my you know death pile aka money pile so i hope you enjoyed this refreshing thrift with me that I haven't been doing for a while and please subscribe it is free it's free 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 to subscribe to a channel any channel on YouTube you can just click that subscribe button and then you can hit the bell for notifications and it gives you a couple of choices in there how you want to be notified put any comments down below I love 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 reading your comments I'll see you guys on the next one.